One day, Albert Einstein had to speak at an important science conference. On the way there, he tells his driver, who looks quite a bit like him, that he's sick of all these conferences. He always has to say the same things over and over and over. The driver agrees. You're right, as your driver, I've attended all of them, and even though I don't know anything about science, I could probably give the speech by now. That's a great idea, says Einstein. Let's switch places for tonight. I could use a break. So they switch clothes, and as soon as they arrive, the driver, dressed as Einstein, goes on stage and starts giving the usual speech, while the real Einstein, dressed as the driver, attends the conference. However, halfway through the speech, there's a scientist who wants to impress everybody, and he thinks of a very difficult question to ask Einstein, hoping that he won't be able to respond. So this guy stands up, interrupts the whole conference by posing his very difficult question, and the whole room goes silent, holding their breath, just waiting for a response. The driver looks him dead in the eye and says, Sir, your question is so easy to answer that I'm going to let my driver reply to it for me. Welcome to the dad bod. We have the Mace Preza box here. If you're not familiar with this box, it's $32.11 per month with shipping. And you don't just get a random box every month. They send you an email letting you know that it's time to pick out your box. At that point, you click on the link and they give you a bunch of options that you can choose from. You can't choose the same exact one that you've already chosen. However, there are ones that repeat with slight differences. So depending on if there's something that you want that you already have, you can find it in another box going forward. It just won't be the exact same box. It'll just be similar with some same items, some different items. So I got my email and these were the options that I was able to choose from. There's the Back to the Grind box. This one comes with a blue floral cotton tie by Penguin, gray striped socks by Paul Evans, blue chambray tie by Penguin, and a sensitive razor by Schick. I think this might actually be the first time that I've ever seen a box with two ties. Then there's the Esquire Estate. I already have one similar to this. I know because I've worn the socks before and the tie in the pocket square. So this one comes with an original penguin tie, unsimply stitched socks, a Sprezza pocket square, a Sprezza tie clip, and a Brickle Face Moisturizer and Anti-Aging Cream Duo. Then there's the Nomad Black Box, which comes with a To-Go brand dop kit, UV moisturizing skin cream, a Kiko passport holder, an I Am Man fish hook bracelet, and then a weekend casual luggage tag. There's the Florence B Box, which comes with a purple microfloral cotton tie by Nick Graham, silver crossed or lapel pin by Sprezza, blue gradient striped socks by Basic Outfitters, and then an Anchors Gray Border Pocket Square by Grand Frank. Next is the 51 Shades box, which has a Spear and McKay tie, Sprezza socks, an original Penguin pocket square, Smart Rec phone ring, and then the English Laundry Oxford blue cologne. Well, as you can see back here, I have the English Laundry London cologne. I used to have the Oxford as well. I preferred the English Laundry over the Oxford, but to each his own. I got both of them in different boxes several months ago. It was a tough choice this month. I honestly really didn't see any box that stood out as one that I really wanted. A few of them had things that I had already received. Some of them had things that I just didn't need. Like seriously, I already have like six dop kits. I really don't need any more at this point. I've got them with the gentleman's box quarterly, monthly, birch box, and then a couple of different Sprezza boxes. In the end, I chose the Americana, which as you notice, I didn't mention earlier. So let's get it opened. What are you guys doing in my box? Get out here so you can see what else is in there. This one comes with a Sprezza tie. It's blue with red and white stripes. It might actually be a little bit too bright for this suit, but I have other suits and blazers that this will look perfect with. Next, we have a pair of Sprezza socks. These are blue with, I'm not sure if it's a gray or a light blue. I can go either way. These are why I chose this box. These socks look absolutely awesome. So I saw them in the picture and I knew that, you know, I wanted these socks. I was really hoping that they didn't just look good in the picture. And as we can see here, no, they look just as good in person as they do on the picture. This one also comes with a Sprezza airplane tie clip uh, that I'll probably never wear. I'm just being honest here. It comes with this Delta passport holder. So Delta is probably why it says Delta on the Sprezza box. Uh, and that would be Delta Airlines. It says that the passport holder is made from a company called PU Leather. Probably not the best choice in names. PU is what you say when something smells bad. And I can tell you that this passport holder absolutely does not smell bad. It smells nice. 
and we have listen wired earbuds that I can probably get some good use out of these on the airplane when I go on my honeymoon later on this fall and I tend to travel overseas once a year so I should be able to get some good use out of these I really don't care much for the free ones that Delta gives you so that way you can watch the TV or movies or anything like that they're just not that comfortable and then lastly we have the Brickle reviving day serum that also I'm, I'm probably just not going to use this again just being honest I don't really it's not really my thing so all in all I got a passport holder a pretty nice looking tie a snazzy pair of socks and some earbuds pretty decent haul and because y'all are so awesome I wanted to showcase another one of you each video I'm going to pick a comment for a shout out and today it's Ben 1998 who says thank you for being honest as always I think I've been here since 50 subs or so great journey so far keep it going dude and I can tell you that that's true as you can see he's got the Baymax character from the movie Big Hero 6 as his uh, his icon and that's one of my favorite videos absolutely love Tadashi so yeah I remember when I got the email saying that he had subscribed that was probably around the November time frame and I did create the channel in October so he's been here since very early on if you want to get a shout out in a video make sure you leave me a comment on any one of the videos doesn't matter which one just make sure that it's appropriate also if you like the spreads of box you may also like the gentleman's box so check it out right over here the April unboxing video they give you lots of things to elevate your style such as ties cufflinks watches and more and I'll see you there